Any real business model worth its weight isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. If you're excited about starting your Amazon journey because you see all these internet celebrities making it big with Amazon, and you believe that you can achieve the same in no time or with little work and effort, then you're in for a big surprise. In this video, I'll go over the hard truths behind the three main areas of Amazon selling that beginners way underestimate, which more often than not leads to disappointment, frustration, and ultimately failure. But first, my name is Crescent, and if this is our first time meeting, welcome to my channel. My passion is sharing tips and strategies on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, or especially if you've been around my channel, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. So if you didn't already know, I've been a business owner, entrepreneur my entire adult life. I started my first business while I was still in college, and against my better judgment each time, I've also been a victim of trying to get rich quick. Even with my 20 some odd years of business experience, the last time I got bit was just over a year ago with the huge Bitcoin wave that made a lot of people overnight millionaires and at the same time ruined a lot of people's lives. Although it didn't ruin my life, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sour about it. But I watched close to $13,000 go down the drain in a matter of 20 minutes when I tried to get rich quick with BitConnect. I laugh about it now because it was money I was willing to lose and I truly thought that I could cash out on it before it turned out to be a scam. One BitConnect coin was worth between $350 and $430 before the people behind it took off with everybody's money. And I literally watched the value of the coin drop to pennies. It's actually worth around 67 cents per coin today. Yay! I can't even log in to cash out on that because the website doesn't even work. So what's my point here? There's no such thing as get rich quick. Anyways, when it comes to selling on Amazon, the same holds true to where most beginners realize this is during the product research phase. And this is the most important phase where you need to manage your expectations. Everyone sees all these successful sellers and they think all they need to do is find a product and they're on their way to financial freedom. What they fail to realize is that product research is the most important part of the entire business model. And if you choose a bad product, no matter how well you do the rest of the process, the product will not sell well. Unfortunately, product research takes time, patience, and diligence. Although there has been people that found successful products with minimal effort and time invested, in reality, those are extremely rare cases. I see people in my community all the time frustratingly complaining that they've spent hours or days doing product research and haven't found a single viable product. A few hours or a few days? Whoa, slow down there. Don't strain yourself. Yes, I'm being fastidious here. Every one of my products took months to find. Several months. In fact, there were several times when after doing product research for several weeks, the data ended up proving that it was a bad product and I had to abandon it. And I wouldn't have known that if I wasn't patient enough or diligent in my research and data collection. I'd rather lose a couple weeks than invest in a bad product. I let the data speak for itself and not leave anything to guesswork. Otherwise, it just turns into gambling. That's why I call product research the great filter. If you can't make it past this phase of the business, you will never be successful selling on Amazon. And I hope my experience helps put things into perspective and helps manage your expectations when it comes to doing product research. Now, this doesn't mean there aren't strategies you can use to help you do product research faster and more efficiently. Having the right product research tools, being proficient on how to use them, and especially understanding how to read and analyze the data are key to doing product research successfully. For example, tools like Jungle Scout and the AMZ Scout Chrome extension are fundamental tools that I use to do product research. If you're not familiar with what these tools do, they pull all the essential data from each niche and put them right in front of you so you can quickly analyze a niche such as the price, sales velocity, and the level of competition. I have a video here that shows you how to use these tools to help you quickly and efficiently do product research 
to find viable products. And I'll leave links to these tools in the video description along with coupons so you can save some money should you decide to purchase them. The next stage where beginners fail to manage their expectations is with their product launch and PPC ads. It's a common misconception that once you launch a product that it will just start selling. That can't be farther from the truth. With Amazon, no matter how good the product is, when it first launches in the marketplace, your listing is lost in oblivion. You need to execute a launch strategy to get your listing ranked onto the first page. And a listing's rank is primarily based on the daily sales velocity. You need to match or beat the daily sales velocity of the top sellers in your niche in order to get your listing ranked onto the first page along with them. Simply starting a PPC campaign isn't going to suddenly generate a ton of sales either. PPC is an art, not a science. You need to continually test and retest until you end up with a profitable PPC campaign. It's almost certain that your initial PPC campaigns will run at a loss and there's no magic secret or strategy to make them profitable. You need to let the campaigns run for several days to collect data, analyze the reports, then make an educated change, retest and repeat. And again, you have to mitigate your expectations. Launching your product and starting PPC campaigns isn't a money tree. And I understand that the reports and the data can be cryptic for beginners, especially when I see people complaining that they got a couple hundred impressions or clicks, but no sales. When it comes to ads, a couple hundred is peanuts. The average click-through rate is less than 1%. That means for every 1,000 impressions, you might get 10 clicks. And each click does not guarantee a sale. To think so is preposterous. If you're struggling with PPC, I have a video on how to analyze and optimize your PPC campaigns here. And lastly, income. Of course, every one of us is trying to build an income stream, whether that's to replace an existing one or create a new one. Again, I can't stress this enough. You can't expect starting an Amazon business to suddenly create an income stream that you can immediately start reaping the benefits from. Even if your first product is successful, in order to build a successful long-term business and scale it, you'll need to reinvest all of your profits back into the business. If you start to draw an income immediately, you're gonna find out real quick that you'll run into cash flow problems, especially when it comes to reordering inventory and scaling with new products. Realistically, it can be a year before you can safely draw an income from your new business or quit your day job. So again, you need to have a plan and realistic goals and expectations if you're gonna start a new business, regardless if it's with Amazon. And before I end this video, I'll leave you a small piece of insight here. You should never try to start a business from a position of desperation. Meaning if you're broke, don't have a job, or you're barely getting by, this isn't a good time for you to start a business. You shouldn't be putting all of your eggs into one basket. Find a job, stop going out, stop eating out, and save every penny that you can. If you can't do that, then you should be asking yourself if being successful is really that important to you. You need to be in a financially stable position before starting a new endeavor. Otherwise, you're starting a business from multiple weak positions, mentally and financially, financially being the primary one. You'll be making important business decisions from a position of desperation and you're potentially putting your livelihood at risk with money you can't afford to lose, or worse, if you borrow it. And not to mention any emotional stress placed on your family. Okay, I hope this sheds some light for those of you just discovering or starting with Amazon. Like with any business, this will take a lot of time, effort, and self-motivation. But most importantly, it's not an overnight success business model. Expect to put in a lot of time and be met with failure before you see success. Let me know in the comments what your journey has been like starting a new business and if it's what you expected. And if you got screwed in a get rich quick scheme, I'd love to hear your story. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, click that bell icon to turn on notifications. There's also a link in the description to our community forums, which you should totally join. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.